You know what's sad, man? The other day, I just did a um, a, a camera crew from uh, Toronto came down. They're doing a thing called Dark Side of the Cage, and they want to interview me about War Machine. And oh, they came out, man. and I did a thing for that. For, and I, uh, it, it just depressed me. It just, it was just, it just brought me down. Cause that was a kid. Did you know him? I had him on the podcast when he was. That's right. When when he was on the show. There's some guys that are just evil, and there's other guys that I think that if they had the right people around them, they could have made different choices. And that's, he was like a, a goofy, he had issues, he was emotional, he always felt like the, the, the stack was against, cards were stacked against him type of thing, but, but, I, he, but he was still, there was something likable about him on the show when he was on season six of The Ultimate Fighter. He was like a, like a prankster, he did an upper decker in the guy's toilet, he was like a silly guy. But I felt that if there was somebody, if he had the right people around him, I think he could have made, obviously, a lot better choices. But think about that. Like, But that goes for all of us, right? Because we all kind of came from the same, from back in the day, right? Yeah. And then me and Matt, you, we still in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then look at guys like him and Phil Baroni. Well, that's the guy who was at his, tr- yeah. well, listen. That, you can have too much. You know, you can have too much bravado. You can have too much crazy, and then it'll ruin your life. Yeah. And there's like, every fighter has a certain amount of crazy. And some guys keep their crazy chamad. They yeah, keep yeah, it all yeah. locked keep up. It locked up yeah. <laughs> they keep it locked up. It'll be behind that mask. But some guys, they just can't, they, they're crazy, burns them down. It burns down everything around them. And then, you know, you got the CTE. And the CTE comes into play. Then there's a lot of guys that just get real impulsive. They become mm-hmm. addicts. They pick up all relationships. They can't keep their sh together. They're either crying or they're, they're angry. There's some and guys that are just bad eggs. Like he got there hooked. are guys that are bad eggs, but there are guys for sure that are bad eggs that then get CTE. Oh, I, no. There's probably both. Yeah. But like... War Machine, the one guy to show up at his trial that be there for him. And again, you show me your friends, you show me who you are. And it was Phil Baroni. Now, Phil yeah. Baroni is not a good guy. I know the guy's from Long Island. A million stories about him. And Well, isn't he in jail right now? Well, that's what in, I'm saying. In Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. Not yeah. only did he uh, be there for War Machine, he outdid him. You know, right. War Machine yeah, he, put his girl in the hospital and beat the shit out of her. And now, you know, Baroni's in jail for, you know, allegedly, you know, murder. Killing yeah. Her. Murder in in uh in Mexico. Yeah, Puerto so, Puerto Vallarta, I think. You yeah. know, it was like a bad one too. Oh. Like beating to death. Oh yeah. yeah. And now that guy, I mean, listen. Allegedly. Right. Allegedly. Yeah. But uh it's brutal, man. So I you know, these guys come in, you know, again, but back to war machine, I don't know. It's it it makes me more like Phil I always knew was a piece of shit, but war machine I felt could have been helped. I really do. I mean it's it is it, what it's done is done, but I don't know. It depresses me because I thought there was some hope. There was some hope. You had him on the show. Didn't you think there was something about I, I never would have imagined that he would have done that. Right? But I would imagine that he would lose his cool if anybody like challenged him. A male. A, yeah. a male. I just never thought that he would do I that. Mean, to a girl. To I a mean, girl. the way he did that, too. It's I mean, she, her eye was shut. The whole thing, it's just, just awful. Every yeah, part shit. about it is awful. It depressed the hell out of me. And how many guys that are doing this like have also experienced that in their life like seeing their mother been beaten been beaten by their father grew up in an abusive household where everybody hits everybody there's a lot of kids unfortunately in this world that grow up with parents beating the shit out of them and beating the shit out of each other yeah 